Well, the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library is going to welcome a local author here coming up next week. This time it is Marcia Sabolska will be launching her new memoir. And we're honored to have her here on the red couch today, along with the library's Miranda Erickson to tell us more about this uh, special event coming up next Tuesday at the library. Uh, Marcia and Miranda, good to see you both and nice to meet you. you Thanks for being here today. Nice to meet you. So nice the, the memoir is called Lovers, Dreamers and Thieves. And I was researching your memoir before we came in to do the show. It sounds terribly interesting because it's based yeah, on your too. life and a lot of people you grew up with in Chicago. That's right. I grew up in a Polish neighborhood in Chicago. Uh, it, it was a working class neighborhood with um, mostly first and second generation Polish Americans and my family owned a bakery mm -hmm. in that neighborhood and the bakery and our house were adjoining so if you opened the door from the kitchen you could walk into the shop with all the everything was sold. Sure. So um, very really intertwined and I uh, am writing uh, in this book I wrote about the um, characters of my growing up years. Yeah I, some of the characters you talk about uh, a grandfather who staged fake Polish weddings <laughs> you talk about um, your own father being taken away in handcuffs, mm -hmm. a mother in love with a priest, and an uncle in the mafia. Yes. Those are some very <laughs> interesting stories that seem very compelling in your memoir. Yes, I, the, the book is really centered on characters. Mm -hmm. um, some of them are um, lovable and warm, and others are rowdy and quirky, and some of them are criminal. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it sounds like maybe there are some interesting stories to be told, obviously, from the Chicago area. Miranda, talk about the fact, because yeah. you live in Topeka. We should mention that I to do. the viewers. I do mm -hmm. live in Topeka. You live in yes. Topeka, but you've done a lot of writing in your life uh, for both the, uh, the screen and the stage as well. At last, last count, um, 22 produced plays, two produced screenplays, and three books. Wow, so you are obviously very accomplished and you live right here in Topeka. Miranda, That's right. talk about uh, what it's like to have a local author in Topeka be able to come out and share more in person about her memoirs at this library event coming up next Tuesday. Well, it's really beautiful is that Marcia is connected into this community. So while she's a renowned author mm -hmm. all over the place, here <laughs> in this community, she's also connected in and knows folks here and has already given writing workshops at our library and met readers and so there's that demand to bring someone back when mm -hmm. our folks have come in and enjoyed hearing from Marcia in the past. So. What, do you, what do you look forward to in terms of learning more from her life story in this <laughs> memoir? <laughs> yes, I look forward to the storytelling. Marcia is a wonderful entertaining storyteller and getting mm -hmm. her up there to tell us a little bit more about the stuff that didn't make it into the book <laughs> and just delivering those stories in her voice shared in that room with others. I'm very much looking forward to that. Well, and, and two, uh, Marcia, folks can come and meet you, and you live right yes, here absolutely. in Northeast Kansas with all of us, but you lived somewhere else where so much of the, the book takes place with, with perhaps uh, people and, and scenarios that we would not see here in Northeast Kansas. Would you agree? I think so. I yeah. think so. There's some, some pretty quirky characters in the, in the book, but that makes them fascinating. At the same time, I think when when we explore behind the scenes of these quirky uh, characters, we find that they're human just like us, mm -hmm. you know, and I also think there's a lot of humor in the book, a lot of humor that gets us through the rough times, right? And that, that's universal, whether we're in Topeka or Chicago or New York. I think you it's are so very fun. well said in that because humor does get us through a lot of tough times. There's the information, folks. Mm -hmm. Lovers, dreamers, and thieves by Marcia Sabolska. You can learn more during a special talk and memoir launch next Tuesday, May 2nd in the Marvin Auditorium, 7 to 8.30 p.m. For, for more information, visit tscpl.org. Miranda, Marcia, thank you so much. And, and maybe give us one quick little 15 second teaser for something in the book that you'll talk about next Tuesday. Is there anything really good that you could tease our viewers with? I am going to talk about, I am going to read a chapter in the book that has to do with my father and his um, federal case against him. Okay, so there you go. All right. There's the tease. Go out next Tuesday, 7 to 8.30. Miranda and Marcia, thank you both okay. for being here. Thank, thank you so much. Best of luck, and we are so happy to have you uh, launching that memoir here in Topeka. We're going to have more.